Is Nike killing resale? We're gonna talk about that in this video, you guys. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cool with Cool Kicks. We are back for another video. And yeah, man, we got some big, big news yesterday. Broke yesterday evening. Wasn't able to get out a video till today. My apologies. But yeah, man, uh, we got some big news about Nike changing all kinds of policies to try to stop resale. And yeah, that's the biggest news we've seen in quite some time. So let, let's talk about it, guys. This began with the story from Korea a couple days ago. There was a report that Nike was taking a hard stance against a resale out in Korea. There wasn't that much information, but Nike Korea did say that they're gonna ban reselling at their stores or from their stores. So then news broke out in the United States that uh, Nike was gonna pretty much do the same thing out here in the US. The Wall Street Journal was actually the first news source that covered this. And then of course, Nice Kicks also reported this information as well. They mentioned, uh, they, they actually talked about restocking fees as well. Uh, but we'll we'll get into that complex sneakers also reported this as well and man several of you guys sent me these articles and and i feel like that's what everybody was talking about yesterday so definitely had to go over this with you guys one thing i don't like doing is i don't like kind of speculating and i don't like um i don't, I don't like just kind of going over articles that kind of vaguely say things and whatnot so i kind of had to go directly to the source you guys i had to go to nike and nike had plenty of information regarding their policy change so so i did go to the website you see the bottom right there you do see the terms of service i did click on that bad boy right there and they had all kinds of information you guys they had all kinds of information and you look at the very top and you see that this was revised in october of 2022 then you see the terms of sale right there and i did highlight the important section for you guys so you guys don't have to sit there and look for things as you can read it explicitly says nike stores including any customer rights or policies offered in nike stores are intended solely for the benefit of and the customers and therefore purchase of products for resale is strictly prohibited purchase for resale means the purchase of products by someone who intends to resell the product to others if nike determines that a purchase or order is intended for resale nike reserves the right in its sole discretion and as it relates to such purchase or order to one suspend the application of any nike policy that provides a right or benefit intended for direct to consumer purchases and number two take any action to hinder such purchase or order including without limitation to restrict sales to any customer customer accounts or member account cancel orders charge restocking fees impose purchase quantity limits decline to issue refunds or to take returns deny access to any nike store and or suspend or close any accounts wow i actually missed that when i reviewed this before i made this video yeah they said they could charge restocking fees um they they have all kinds of rights now like they could pretty much just say hey um we don't want to sell this to you that that's the least they could say they can suspend your account they can say hey we're not taking returns from you they could say hey you know what you're not welcome to buy anything here they can do all kinds of stuff you guys they have so much freaking leeway oh my goodness it's going to be really interesting to see how they implement this the more and more i find out about this the more and more i'm confused and the more and more I'm curious about how they're gonna implement this. You go to the next page, it says our right to reject your purchase or cancel any order. This section kind of seems to be more uh, geared towards online purchases, uh, but I did underline some of the more important sections. Uh, right here it does say, your order is flagged by our security system as a potentially fraudulent or an orders place with automated ordering software or technology they can pretty much cancel your order it also says there is evidence that your order was purchased for the purpose of resale tax evasion or fraudulent purpose 
then your order could be canceled. There's also two other sections that I did uh, underline right there. Your purchase or order exceeds product purchase limits. So uh, they're saying, that, hey, they can uh, put out however many limitations they want. It also says your account and or purchase history shows an excessive high volume of returns. So if you return a ton of things, they can start canceling orders and they can, they can, um, they can start banning you pretty much. Um, it, it's definitely going to be interesting online. It looks like, um, it looks like they made policies regarding online purchases. Pretty much they're, they're going to have some sort of algorithm. They're going to have something. So, uh, you know we're gonna have to see how that affects things it's definitely gonna be interesting to see how they implement some of this stuff we really have no clue the nike outlets and the nike uh retail shops their management has all kinds of leeway on how to implement certain policies uh, we've seen that with the regular nike outlets where um you know they'll have different sales at different spots they'll also have uh, sales in certain sections so like some places will have sales in the heat section or the heat wall other places won't we also have seen uh, differences on the number of quantities that you can buy at different stores some they'll let you buy 10 per style some they'll let you buy five per style some they'll let you 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 can't buy more than a couple per style so it all just depends on uh, what the management there decides I think this is gonna be Kind of the same thing. I think we're we're gonna see different uh, different implementation styles. We're gonna see different uh, ways of interpreting the rules. Um, it's it's definitely gonna be interesting. It's definitely gonna be interesting. Um, you know, obviously this is terrible news for resellers, for collectors. Probably better news. Um, I, I don't know. I, th I think it. I think it all just depends. You know, like the the real question is, hey, how are they gonna implement, or how they're gonna tell the difference if you buy two or three pair of sneakers, you know, cause you're buying for friends and stuff like that. Or if you want to resell them, like, like that's going to be the tough thing. How are they going to know? Maybe by looking at your history, if you bought 150 pair of sneakers in the, within the last month, maybe then, you know, it's kind of obvious you're a reseller, but, 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 um, a lot of people have multiple accounts, right? A lot of people have multiple accounts. So, so how's that going to work? Um, it's definitely going to be interesting see how they implement this man the next time i go to the nike outlets i'm gonna have to talk to talk to some of the workers talk to some of the managers see how they're gonna implement this uh what they're being told from upper management and stuff because because this is this is huge this is huge like this is gonna change um potentially it could change the resale game um you know, it's obvious that they're trying to kill a lot of the resale game, which is kind of interesting because I feel at times they created the resale game, you know, like like they <laughs> the, the, some of the, the policies that they implemented at the Nike outlets, you know, they would let people get 10 pairs. They would let people, you know, get get uh, some of them. They'll let them get 20 pairs. So, so it, it all just it's just weird. It's just weird because they kind of created this climate. You know, they had workers reselling stuff. They had uh, they had high level executives, their sons selling stuff. So, um, you know, it, it's just kind of weird because it seems like they're the ones that created this climate. And then now they're like, uh, we're getting a lot of pushback. I, I don't know. It's, it's also interesting because because uh, the, the timing of this is very interesting as well, because resale's going down. Resale's gone down significantly. Resale was at its peak a year ago. Where was Nike? at that, that time, you know, where, where was Nike when, when most of us were having difficulty getting stuff, you know, uh, where, where were they, uh, when that happened? Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it, it, it's just really weird how, 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 how this is happening now. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how it affects the bottom line because sales are going down a lot. Maybe that actually might be a good thing though. Cause you know, when, when Jordans are, are hella cheap, when Jordans are at the clearance store for a hundred bucks, you know, maybe that might help collectors get them and, and instead of letting all the resellers get them, you know, I, I think it's it, this is going to change things a lot. But 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 me, I buy a lot of sneakers, too, though. I buy way more than the average person. Are they going to see me as a reseller just because I buy a lot more than everybody else? I don't know. I don't know. Like, like I get stuff for friends and stuff. Like that. I'll get stuff and I'll just gift it to people. Like, I don't I don't even try to sell it. I'll give it to people. Are they going to see me as, hey, you spend way too much? I don't know. It's gonna be hell interesting. It's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting next couple months, you guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I know plenty of resellers watch this. I know plenty of 
of collectors watch this i'm curious to see what your opinions are um i'm pretty sure the reseller is going to say hey this sucks collectors are going to say this is great but i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comment section but yeah thanks so much for watching guys make sure you help a boy out make sure you press that like button if you're new to the channel press that subscribe button click on that notification bell i try to get this to you guys I try to get it like as quick as possible it's freaking 1 a.m um, I'm, I'm trying to get videos out to you guys i'm trying to edit a bunch of stuff as well so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys made it to the end and and hope you guys stick around because um there, there's plenty coming um you know make sure if you're new go ahead press that subscribe button click on that notification bell got plenty plenty of videos coming and yeah see you guys next one peace